something exciting is going to emerge out of these boxes and I cannot wait to show you what they become. You know it's going to have some serious upshopulence. Okay, so I'm out the back in the warehouse at my local thrift store, the one that I do quite a lot of work at. You can hear all the noise and the rumbles around me. I'm getting ready for this exciting sustainability showcase. More on that later in the video. I'll reveal exactly what it is and all of the amazing things that you're going to see. But for now, I have to get eight looks ready for human models and then I have to get about three or four mannequin looks ready. The theme that I'm kind of running with is this concept of excessive consumption. So let me show you the first thing that I'm working on. We had these mannequins donated for the event so big shout out to Shop for Shops. First one I've unpacked is of the masculine persuasion and I'm playing with this idea of excessive caps. Kind of a nod because I copped a bit of grief for wearing baseball caps and I did a video about it so I was like right I'm gonna make a giant one just to really stick it to the haters. But I have found all of these hats, sorry about the noise, I've found all of these hats on the floor and I'm slowly just stacking them up to create this gosh so noisy welcome to the warehouse to create this excessive cap situation so I don't know if I need to pad it out to give it more of a lifelike it's on someone's head feel but I'm just seeing how it's looking for now he's gonna have like a really cool sort of streetwear look kind of inspired by Pharrell Williams, Louis Vuitton, Virgil Abloh, that kind of cool vibe. But I actually really like how this looks. It's definitely excessive and that's what we're here for. A statement about how much we consume in terms of fashion. It's really crazy. Okay, out on the floor, found the hats, just seeing if there's any more outstanding ones in terms of shape and texture that will fit onto this headpiece that I'm creating. That's a good one. Pop that in there. That's a good one too. That could be the good top one because then I could add a little bit of embellishment, maybe some kind of message. Not sure yet. It will reveal itself as I build it. Build it and they will come, right? And of course, we're always here for a fashion dad joke. Thinking cap. See what they did there? Love it. Found these great little, I think they're buttons, but they could also just be glued onto the hat to give it a bit of embellishment. That's why I always look in these buckets and little drawers and things in the haberdashery section of thrift stores, you know, where you find the patterns and the wool and the knitting needles, all those bits and pieces. You can do lots of things with, even unfinished tapestries like this. I love stuff like this. I once put an unfinished tapestry on the back of a shirt and I left the little needle and thread in it. I just thought it was such an interesting story, you know, fashion in process. These are kind of interesting, look they've got like repair marks on them. I like the idea of kind of showing that off in this look. I also found a giant button down and a couple of cool t-shirts, this giant hoodie as well all could be good for this look that I'm creating. Good to have options. Okay, this is the next part of my creating process. I found this corset at the Salvos for $4. Nice and simple now, but this box is absolutely chock-a-block with broken jewelry at this point i'm essentially a pirate and i collected all of this from work and it was going to go in the bin otherwise so i cannot wait 
to completely reinvent this and this. Okay, doing some work on the broken jewelry corset here at home this evening. It's um, coming along pretty cool. So I've just sort of let the jewelry kind of guide me in terms of where I should put what and there's no rules really. This is the glue that I'm using. It's really good. Sticks really quickly and everything's on there pretty firmly. So there's a mixture of earrings, broken necklaces, broken brooches, chokers, chain belts. So I'll update you again soon. But yeah, pretty jazzy, huh? And I put a towel down so I didn't glue it to the table, you know? <laughs> That would be helpful. And here she is. This took me a good few hours. She looks incredible. All broken jewelry, all recycled, and turned into serious op shop villains. Give you a side view too. So I've gone all the way down the side. Just using what was available and my own eye and intuition to just follow the flow. She's giving very like 90s Madonna, a little bit Moschino. I love it. So this is going to be part of National Recycling Week for Salvo stores to really encourage people to show them what you can do with what's already in existence. Okay, we're back at the warehouse today. I've got some friends with me dressing up these mannequins for National Recycling Week. One of the windows at Salvo stores we're going to deck out with op shopulence, so really excited about that. Here's the corset that I showed you in the last clip. I've styled it up with a white t-shirt, playing with the idea of layered necklaces, but I think maybe it takes away from the corset. I'll decide overnight. And I've just done a simple black skirt. This guy, I remember him from earlier. We're gonna do the stacked hats on him. Got like a layered clear raincoat because I like the idea of sort of multiple hoodies and I'm thinking these chinos to pick up her colors and now I'm just undoing this mannequin box and we're going to do a deconstructed suit look on her so stand by Okay, feeling super inspired by one of my favorite designers, Tom Brown, and how he really reinvents and deconstructs suiting, also Maison Margiela. So I've played around with some menswear on a more feminine mannequin, and I've turned the majority of the pieces inside out. So you can see the waistband of the pants and how they're inside out here, and then I've layered up a vest, turned that inside out, Got another suit jacket here, which is the right way round, whatever that means, because maybe it's the wrong way. And then I've turned this jacket inside out, because look at the lining, isn't it beautiful? And I think my statement here is kind of really playing around with the concept of like, the inner workings and like the bones of a garment and the story of it. So I'm also gonna look at maybe cinching this, so it gives it even more, a little bit of a feminine hip but some more contrast and texture and then I might even play around with some 
old like vintage patterns and kind of make that part of the look as well. Still in process. I'll report back soon. So I've cinched it in. I need to find a different belt because this one's a bit dodgy in parts. But I really like how this layering has turned out, picking up the greys and the blacks that are in the pants as well. I need to hike the pants up a bit and make them a bit more high-waisted so that that waistband pops out more. But I really like... It looks quite regal, I think, that lining and see the contrast with the sleeves. So I like where this is going. And it's still matching with these two as well. Got to put his pants on yet, but I need some help with that one. And I'm going to stack those hats up more. But she's looking cool. All thrifted. All the time. So this was a last minute one. Mm -hmm. This dress was actually going to go on one of our models. But it didn't quite work. But I love it and we wanted to use it. So we thought we'd just try it on this mannequin. And it fits perfectly. And then I went into the odd fabric drawer and I found this incredible gold fabric which is like so dramatic. So I pinned it with a little brooch and then it's got this like over the top glamour shawl. She's ready for the opera. Little bag and then I think she needs some gloves so I'll have to go hunting for that. But I love this one. And this is all handmade too. And we think it's silk. It's beautiful. It was on the $2 rack. Crazy, right? Look at those flowers. So pretty. Okay, another day sourcing in the warehouse, putting together some ideas because I've got a couple of fittings today. Just did another quick run around the floor because my model is coming in in about half an hour. So I just grabbed a few extra pieces for her to try. And then once she arrives, I'll show you a little bit of that process as well. These are some of the pieces that I'm thinking for her. I love this little cut out suit jacket. Super cute with these high waisted pants. Also, this sparkly bodysuit could be a vibe peeping out underneath here, but it all really depends what fits. And as you know, with thrift stores, you don't have 10 sizes of everything. So you just got to get options. This could be really nice with like a more casual tank and then heaps of jewels. Nice silky green pants. I'm kind of running with this color scheme of like blacks, golds, and depending on what fits one of the other models, maybe orange, but if the orange doesn't work on her, I might lean towards reds and pinks since we're coming into the festive season. This is beautiful as well. But yeah, as I say with thrifting, it's a real, trial and error working out what fits and then kind of crafting the theme once you've got a few key pieces that are really standing out I find that's the best way to go they work on the models and then you can kind of plan other looks around that so your guess is as good as mine as how is it <laughs> as how it turns out but I love that because it's such a journey and such a creative process I found this t-shirt for myself this morning so I'm definitely going to buy that five bucks it was on the too good to go rack so as you can see it's got a little hole in it but honestly I've lost count how many designer brands I've seen selling t-shirts for hundreds of dollars with holes in them so I can leave it as is or maybe get creative and put a little bit of lace in there or sequin would look cool too just because it's a little worn out doesn't mean it has to be thrown out you know what I mean Alright, we think maybe the pants have had an argument with the shoes because they're so short <laughs> or you're just too tall. This is gorgeous Selena by the way. Hello. <laughs> We're playing around with this silver bodysuit which looks beautiful on you and this cool little jacket but we don't, we don't know. This is the thing though, you've got to try things and see what fits and then 
kind of make a decision. These pants are nice on your waist, but yeah, I think the length is not a vibe for you. So I love this singlet on you. I like how relaxed it is. And then we could add lots of jewels. And you'd do like a tie at the back, yeah? Like yeah. a little knot at the back? Knot. Yeah, that's a good idea. But we're not sure on the skirt. It fits you, but we feel like you can't eat anything. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, <kind of>. you know? <laughs> Might be uh, no no lunch for you. No lunch. <laughs> uh, um, fasting. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so the top's good. So we've got two good tops so far. Well, this is a vibe. We've stolen my sunnies <laughs> and they look excellent on you. The leopard print is cute. And I love it with these. The Sambas, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they're really light. I need to get myself a pair. I'm There's a Jordan's a girl, but I need some of these. I like how the girls put bag uh, little charms on them too. Have you seen that? On, we could, oh, on yeah, the shoes. Yeah, we could do that on you actually. Like that would be cute. Crocs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, this is cool. I like this. And then we could do like a crossbody bag, mm -hmm. or we could do lots of jewels. Like yeah, some bangles, some yeah. hoops. This is hot. <laughs> it looks good with the sambas too. Yeah, it matches. Black, like green tone. I feel like this is definitely your vibe, like it speaks into your yeah. kind of no, vibe. Mm. Crop. Yeah, goes really well. So I found this corset dress on the $2 rack, would you believe? And it looks really cool with that jacket and those shades. And if we did some stacked necklaces, and I love it with the sneakers. That's such a cool contrast. Yeah, it's really cool. Would you have picked something like this? Uh, for definitely, yourself? yeah, definitely the dress, like white and like like a light summer jacket rolled up, so you can see like the jewelry. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. yeah, that looks really cool on you. It's comfy, and it's okay when you walk. Like it's, it feels comfortable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah I like how it fits yeah. on your it well. decolletage. It looks really nice. Yeah, it's very nice. Mm. Not bad for two bucks, huh? Yeah, I mean two dollars as well. That's <laughs> wild, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's like the contrast of the masculine, whatever that means, with feminine. It's like it would be a totally different vibe if you just had the dress on, right? Like, oh, yeah. That's a totally different party. Like part <laughs> Business, but yeah. still cool, especially when you team it with the sneakers. It's, yeah, it's like, like it, casual, comfortable. Yeah, and I feel like that kind of speaks into who you are and like your culture and just yeah, kind of has your feel. Yeah. yeah, you can dance in this outfit. Yeah. <laughs> no, like it's comfy. Yeah. And that's the thing, like, I can't believe that that is $2. Like, look at I the know, $2. boning on it. Like, it's beautiful. It looks like a designer piece. It's expensive. It does. <laughs> no one will know. And it was on the $2 rack. Yeah. Some it's real. pretty cool. Thrifting, man. That's where it's at. <laughs> if you're not doing it, you're missing out. <laughs> Correct. Amen. Hey guys, Faye here from Salvo's Stores. It's National Recycling Week, so I thought I would give you a bit of a behind the scenes tour of the whole donation process. Let's do it. We collect your clean bag donations at the drop-off area. Something to remember when you donate, would you give it to a mate? Okay, the process begins. First up, homewares. Items are sorted into the bins, staff give them the clean, grade them and price them up. Next, Welcome to clothing production. Garments are sorted into categories. Excess is sorted as well. Next stage of production, it's time to hang up the clothing on the racks and price them up. For extra special pieces like brands and vintage, well, they get their own tag, O oh, by Salvos. Then it's out to the shop to sell. Thank you so much for your donations. The future of fashion is definitely reusable. Happy National Recycling Week from Salvo stores and charitable reuse. Well, it's all happening today. Flights have been cancelled changes in plans my beautiful hubby is my knight in shining armor helping me we've got to go get the mannequins from tempe take them to the bondi store set them up okay let's go and here are two of my mannequins the bejeweled corset that you've seen and the gorgeous raw silk handmade dress that i found on the two dollar rack it's very hard to capture this window because all of the light reflecting from the road but hopefully you can get the vibes I've added my book into the window so everybody can see it's my op opulence we've added some greenery and some feathers and 
flowers and I think it's come up an absolute treat. I feel very proud and chuffed. Reuse is about being resourceful. It's about thinking, okay, what do we have in existence and how could we breathe new life into it? Hi everyone, it's Faye here from Salvo Stores and my favorite part of Reuse is the creativity. I have something so cool to show you. Let's go. Everyday items can become something so unexpected and beautiful. Take, for example, my Opshopulence Bustier. The base piece, the Bustier, I found on the lingerie rack at my local salvos for four bucks. And then this is all broken jewelry, broken necklaces, broken earrings, brooches, keychains, all what was once considered the underdog or cast aside. Look at her go now. She's giving. 80s Madonna, a little bit of La Croix Sweetie, Couture, McQueen and Dolce vibes. It's about conserving our resources, reducing waste and protecting our planet. This National Recycling Week, let's reimagine reuse together. We can turn what's old into something that's uniquely new to you. So together, let's celebrate the beauty of creativity and sustainability. Okay, it's the day of the show. The models' outfits have been bundled up with all of the details of what they're wearing, accessories as well. We have to take a few options because we haven't had time to see all of the models together. So we need to do that and then decide what we need to tweak. But these are all the gorgeous pieces that we're working with, all found right here at the Salvos. The next time you see these, they'll be backstage and getting ready and then on the runway at New South Wales Parliament House for the Sustainability Innovation Showcase. Here's the other end of the window. Again, it's very hard to see with all the reflection. There's my guy with all these caps. And I've added all those great vintage patterns to give the floor some interesting texture and contrast. And this lady, very hard to see, she has my deconstructed suiting on. I'll go inside and get some closer shots. But yeah. Four mannequins. Done, done, done. Okay, I'm literally crammed in the corner of the window. <laughs> but hopefully you can see a little bit more of the layered suits. I've turned them inside out to show off the lining. See the inside of this jacket was so beautiful. I just had to show it off and that's something I love to do. She's also got her pants inside out because I think the lining's really interesting and this is something that you would definitely see in high fashion, Maison Margiela especially. And then this guy, he's got his hat stack there. I've layered a clear raincoat underneath a hoodie and then he's got some mustard colored pants and a bit of a Bruce Springsteen born in the USA moment with the t-shirt hanging out of his back pocket. I've added all these patterns to the floor because this is kind of about in process and creation of recreation. You know what I mean? Okay take two. I put my books in the window don't know why I didn't think of that straight away, but there we go. There's my book, all the fabric patterns, garment patterns on the floor there. And I love that there's that awesome circle for circularity. So cool. Salvo Stores Bondi. Come check it out if you're in the hood. Getting your op shop on is more than just about scoring a bargain. Every purchase that you make does incredible things for people and the planet. Hi everyone, I'm Faye from Salvo Stores. Let's talk about some tips and tricks when shopping secondhand. Shopping at an op shop encourages mindful consumption. Wear each item at least 30 times, then redonate or repurpose it. Keep quality items circulating and reduce the need for new production. By choosing secondhand, you're giving items a second life and keeping them out of landfill. It's a small step for a circular economy with a big impact on waste. Shopping at an op shop encourages mindful consumption. So shop with a purpose, save money and the planet all at your local op shop. Okay, what is your next op shop find going to be?
rocking thrift here at Parliament House. Could you all be any cuter? <laughs> Look at you. How are you feeling? Oh. Pumped and ready to rock and roll. Ready to, rock and roll. ready to give some politicians whiplash. Oh, that's it. <laughs> yes. We're going to give them new ideas. <laughs> Damn straight. Thank you so much for doing this, beautiful people. Time. Mwah, mwah, to be here. Yeah. <laughs> um, try and be aware of the order that you're walking first up. So um, we, um, I will stand at the end, at the end of the glass doors just there. Um, we and Annabelle will direct you out. There. And we're ready to go. Yes, we are. Shazam, Shazam. Ready to go? Feeling good? Yes, yes, yes. Looking hot. Kill it, my loves. Kill it. Broadly, what role does the charity sector play in Australia's circular economy? It's interesting that the peak body, formerly known as Charitable Recycling Australia, has recently changed its name to Charitable Reuse Australia. Yes, it has. Do you want to tell us more about reuse in particular? And actually, do tell us who we are seeing representing Salvos in the runway moment. Yeah, so we have six fantastic models joining us first up, who are all volunteers here this evening. So I want to thank each one of them, but also acknowledge the large number of volunteers that help this excited that our industry body is now called Charitable Reuse Australia because we believe that reuse is core to our business model but not only that we know that it is a really um, important way that we can have effective circularity here in Australia because reuse keeps items like our clothing at their highest and best use and why that's really important is because it helps to drive economic environmental and social benefits and given that we're in Sydney tonight I think one of the key ways um, that I can demonstrate that is by sharing some results from a reuse impact study that was commissioned by the CRA and the New South Wales EPA, which found that uh, re uh, reuse is an extremely effective way to reduce uh, greenhouse gas emissions. It's equivalent to taking 141,000 cars off the road every year. Economically, it also delivers 25 times more jobs than the recycling industry and also saves uh, people living in New South Wales, over $430 million a year. Wonderful. Also, I think we should give a shout out to Faye Delanti, whose styling hand I can see over these wonderful looks here. Lots of Australians are already donating, and thanks to their generous donations, uh, Salvo stores diverted over 50 million items from landfill last year. Um, so there's already great donations happening amongst Australians, but we know to involve more Australians in a circular economy, we need to make it as convenient as possible. And so we're forging partnerships that will help drive convenience, including textile paper <coughs> with retailers who uh, give us some floor space to put donation stations in their stores. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 